What's going on guys? Killer6 back with Legendary Item Guide on the recently buffed Needle Gun XXL from the Cartels event. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the weapon works, and cover some of the other interesting things you should be on lookout for with this weapon. So let's get right into it. The Needle Gun XXL is a legendary SMG manufactured by TDR, and the red text reads, not your average needle. This gun and red text are a reference to the video game Halo and the Type 33 guided munitions launcher from that game, which was also known as the Needler. The special effect effect of this gun is that the needle gun applies a stacking vulnerability debuff on the enemy at max stacks additional damage refills the gun's magazine this does have a cooldown this debuff stacks up to 10 times and enemies need to be hit at least every two seconds or the debuff will start to reset the magazine is completely refilled upon reaching the maximum stacks of 10. the magazine refills each time you apply the 10th stack to an enemy this gun can spawn in any of the elements or it can also roll as a non-elemental version the one that i've got here is radiation this gun can also come in a times two variant which will consume two ammo per shot so keep that in mind this gun received a 200 weapon damage buff on june 24th 2021 with the release of the cartels as a permanent ongoing event the throw reload of this weapon will explode on enemy contact or surface impact this gun will always spawn with a homing module which will allow you to throw reload this thing and it'll track down enemies the needle gun can drop from joey ultraviolet josie bite or franco firewall much like the opq system does to farm this gun you will need to enable the cartels event to do that on the main screen hit play then scroll down and enable events and then go until you see the cartels event has been enabled next you need to speak to maurice in sanctuary he's the sauron that lives in the little room across the way from tannis's lab and right next door to hammerlock he's located right here on your map now after speaking to maurice you're going to get a mission to hunt cartel members across the galaxy and collect the rings that you can use then to open up the gate to get into villa ultraviolet there's a couple of quick and easy spots you can go to collect the rings needed to access villa ultraviolet and take on joey the cartel leader one of the fastest ways to get the rings that you need in order to access the portal to go into the cartels event is to go to the slaughter maps those are very fast and easy i also like the trial of supremacy that one is really good and easy for those and also the malawan takedown those are my favorite spots to go to to get the rings quickly and easily fight your way through the map following the objective nothing crazy nothing out of the ordinary here but when you get to the final fight this is where i have a way for you to farm what you're after super fast when the fight with joey and his minions begins he will send out too many bosses one at a time at first they can be fish slap or tyrone who can both drop the fish slap grenade the yellow cake launcher and the watson shield josie bites or franco firewall who can both drop the opq system needle gun and firewall shield roaster or the tenderizer who can both drop the no pew pew ice burger and grease trap so depending on which items you're after you're going to want a certain pair of mini bosses to spawn here luckily if you don't get the pair that you want then you can literally save and quit to reload the area so you can get a brand new set of mini bosses but here's where the second part of the farming trick comes in after killing the mini bosses leave joey alive you can now either let joey kill you or if you want to save cash in the game then you can just fast travel back to the start of the map this will reset the fight meaning that the mini bosses will respawn and they will now be the exact same two that you had before you died or traveled now just drop back in and rinse and repeat killing the mini bosses until you get the drops that you're after it's important to note that you do not want to save and quit once you have the two mini bosses that you want because once you save and quit those bosses will reset and become different bosses each time the stats on this one at mayhem 10 level 72 are 7838 damage 60 percent accuracy 58 percent handling reload time is 1.6 seconds fire rate is 8.49 shots per second and the mag size is 36 on this one right here this gun will consume one ammo per shot unless you get the times two variant which then will consume two ammo per shot but it's also going to do a lot more damage as well so do be on the lookout for the times two variant now since this gun applies its own stacking vulnerability debuff you will notice the damage starts out very low but the longer you're shooting this thing the higher the damage gets ultimately leading you to be able to do crazy damage with this gun it has become one of the best smgs in the game overnight that's how good this thing is right now i would actually place this probably in my top five smgs if i were to redo my top 10 smgs list right now this gun is exceptional on every single vault hunter because of the debuff that it applies to enemies it is great especially on amara especially if you're doing a times that buy an amara you can have a lot of fun with this thing it's great on Moe's. it's great on zane it's 
great on flak so have some fun get yourself this gun try it out i hope this guide to the needle gun was helpful to you if it was then please take a second to hit that like button hit subscribe and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i post a new video you can click on one of the cards at the end of this video to see more legendary item guides as well thank you guys for watching take care